Hey, hey everybody, Charles Stepanek here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Beyond the Notes. Today we are talking about a piece of music I wrote called Theme for the Heroes inspired by the Tokyo Olympics. So let's check it out. So for this one, I was inspired by the music of John Williams and specifically his Olympic fanfare that he wrote for the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles. Leading up to the Tokyo Olympics this year, I had been listening to that piece of music at least once a day. It's actually a piece of music that I really like starting the day off with. It's uplifting and it's inspiring and I feel like it really gets me going. Or sometimes if I'm driving in the car somewhere, I like to put it on and hopefully not drive too fast. <laughs> uh, it just kind of, I don't know, it does for me what rock music does for some of the people. It gets me pumped and it gets me ready to go and, and accomplish things. So I was listening to it for that reason but also, as I was listening to it, I realized just how much I like the piece of music. And I thought, well, why don't I give a try at writing something that's inspired by the Olympics? Maybe something that's inspired by the same things John Williams was thinking about when he wrote his piece. For me, the inspiration was uh, the dedication and training and just the amount of training and the discipline and hopefully the victories and the glory of it. I knew that I wasn't going to get it released before the end of the Olympics this year. Um, it's just just a lot to get done in just a couple of weeks. But the cool thing is that I started writing the piece right at the beginning of the Olympic Games this year, finished writing it, recorded it, got it all done and ready to go by the last Friday of the Olympics. And so for me, that kind of kept it all wrapped up in, into one thing. But I knew I wasn't going to get it out to you guys until a little bit later. And so I thought, well, what can I title this? I knew it was going to be inspired. I knew what it was going to be inspired by, it, but what can I title it that's going to be a little bit more broad? Because I can't share with everybody. I hope people watch this and find out, but I can't share with everybody exactly what the inspiration was. And so I thought about Olympic heroes, and I thought about that word hero some more, and it kind of stuck, and I felt like it fit the piece in a couple different ways. One, when athletes go home after the Olympics, especially the winners, I think a lot of them are considered um, national heroes of their country. They really represent to the world what their country stands for and what their country is about and in a way what's something that their country is really good at. Um, and so in that sense, the winners of the Olympics are, can be considered heroes. Uh, but I also was thinking about the roots of the Olympics and how uh, the, in the early, early days in ancient Greece, the Olympics were a friendly competition uh, between countries that were otherwise uh, at war a lot. And so instead of having a bloody competition, it was a peaceful competition to see who was better at certain things. Um, and I thought about that and about kind of the militaristic reference of that. And I thought, well, heroes can also apply there too. It could be maybe about a military hero who comes home after wartime and is, is celebrated for their accomplishments. So before we wrap up today, I'm going to move to the piano and give you a couple more musical tidbits that you might find interesting. Sometimes when I write, I like to write based on what the piano sounds like and what the piano does. And other times, even when I'm not arranging stuff that might be originally for orchestra, I still think about composition in an orchestrated way. So this piece is an awesome example of that. The opening notes in the right hand, that really fast 16th note figure, that's, for me, that's reminiscent of maybe what strings would do. They'd maybe either be tremoloing or actually playing all those different notes. Uh, and then the theme that follows in the left hand that opens the piece. That's reminiscent of how you'd write uh, music for French horns in a trio. Um, so you combine those two, you've got strings playing, and then horns. Maybe that lowest note there would be like a timpani hit or a bass drum or something like that. So later on in the piece, um, we get a bunch of rhythms that are introduced mainly in the left hand, and it's things that sound like this. That's the first time it happens, and for me that sounds like a combination of snare drum and bass drum, something like that. Or it also could still be timpani. 
That rhythm gets expanded on a little bit later in the piece and it turns into Right, so you hear that da 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 da, da right? So for me, that's, that's a, a percussive thing that's inspired by some of the drums that might be in an orchestra. And then throughout, there's still other things. There's little like woodwind interjections and little brass interjections. So that spot right where I left off is a great example of that. The right hand has these little, uh, they're like almost like little trill figures that happen in between the, the phrases of the main melody. Uh, so those I hear as like as woodwinds and they happen that phrase and then they happen in the next phrase And then again Yeah, and this whole thing um, throughout the whole piece the main melody the main melody is also written for like a brass instrument So if we go all the way back to the beginning It's probably written for a trumpet or something like that and I've I've notated all of it, arranged all of it in a group of three, just like the very beginning of the piece, that first theme, but... But that's all brass instruments too. So you get this combination of strings and different brass and different registers and woodwinds and then some of the drums that are in an orchestra. So even though this piece is for piano, um, it's... I heard so many of those instruments while I was writing it. It's not something that I said, oh, this kind of sounds like that could be that. It was actually what I was thinking of, so much so that I've thought about orchestrating it for real, uh, but that, that'll be a challenge for another day. So hey, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this peek beyond the notes. Uh, be sure and like and subscribe, leave me a comment below, tell me, uh, what do you hear? What's your inspiration when you hear this piece? Is it something that, uh, that you like? Do you like hearing stuff like this? Do you like hearing, do you wanna hear different kinds of stuff? Let me know, hit that notification bell so you find out uh, when all kinds of new stuff gets posted on the channel. And I'll see you next time.